Hello, it's Shadow the Rat, and in this video, I am going to be doing a Q&A. Around a week and a half ago, I asked people if they would like me to do a Q&A, and I asked for some questions, and I've gotten a few responses now, so I thought I could make a video. So before I get started, I just want to give a brief introduction. So my name is Esther, and I am currently a 19-year-old college freshman. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started with the questions themselves. So the first question we have here was, how old were you when you first got your rats, and how hard was it to convince your parents? So I was 16 when I first got my rats. I was a sophomore in high school, and my first three rats were Shadow, Ninja, and Sonic. So how hard was it to convince my parents? Well, it was actually really easy because I had had rodents since I was maybe, I think, five. First I had hamsters, then I had gerbils, and when my last gerbil diamond died, and that was when I was 16, I was really upset because I really loved that gerbil so much. And I asked if I could get a different sort of rodent this time. And my parents agreed because they knew that from past experience that I would be a very good caretaker for them and that I would play with them and all the stuff that you want to do when you have a pet. And the issues didn't really start until I brought them home because you see, I was only planning on getting two girls at first, but when I saw three girls at the pet store, I was like, okay, I gotta get the third one because the pets weren't near me actually doesn't get rats very often. So I knew they weren't going to have any baby rats to keep that rat company for a long time. So we came home with the three rats in a large cage and my mom's a very animal loving person. So she was fine with me getting all this sort of thing. She was with me there getting them. And the problem was that my dad is a little less animal inclined. So when he saw the large cage and the extra rat, he wasn't very happy with the fact that I didn't discuss it with him first. So this is kind of a lesson. You want to discuss these things with your parents before you bring them home, both of your parents or any caretakers. But the other issue was that every source I had read said that rats didn't smell. And the issue is they do smell. I mean, it's not a horrible odor if you know what you're doing, but I obviously didn't know what I was doing and they smelled pretty bad. And I find that young rats in particular smell pretty bad compared to their older counterparts. So my girls were just stinking up the whole area with their really bad bedding. I think I had Carefresh at first and I really hate this bedding. I know some people have luck with it, but I just don't. So anyhow, my cage stunk and then Two days later, one of my rats actually got super sick. I took her in, she ended up dying. Got her necropsy, it turned out she had a viral form of pneumonia. And then another girl, Shadow, got sick as well. And I actually got her to the vet in time, but she cost a lot of money to heal. And afterwards, you know, things were kind of iffy on if I would ever get more rats, but luckily I still had Sonic and Shadow at this point, so they were okay living as a pair. Later on, I had to actually get rid of the large cage, and as you can see now, I have a smaller version. Uh, originally, my cage was like a double Critter Nation-like cage, but now I have a single Critter Nation, and it's okay because it works out really well. And just the moral of this, I guess, is make sure that you read up on all the things about whatever animal you're going to get because there are definitely some downsides, even if everything seems to be super positive. Okay, so the next question on here is how often do you clean and redecorate your cage? So I do this every one and a half to two weeks. As you've seen with my recent cage redecoration video, that's basically what I do. I clean it out, then I just add in new things everywhere. Since I use bedding, this is totally fine. I use a very nice absorbent and odor controlling bedding called Yesterday's News. It is a cat litter. I love the stuff, so I just use that in the cage to help keep everything smelling clean. So the next question is, how old are you? When did you start keeping rats and how many rats did you have so far? Well, I already answered the first two. I'm 19 right now and I was 16 when I started keeping rats. So for the last question, I have had seven rats so far. Ninja, Shadow, Sonic, Latte, Blackberry, Cream, and Cookie. And I currently have Blackberry, Latte, Cream, and Cookie. So the next question is, do you normally train one-on-one -on -one with your rats? And this is actually exactly what I do. I'll usually have a 10 to 15 minute training session with each of the rats individually per day. Now I don't always do this and sometimes I will mix it up by having the rats train together. This is a little more difficult, but if they actually know what they're doing, like in the case of basketball, you can just have them really hone those skills by having them work at it together. Or if I'm trying to really motivate them, sometimes having another rat for some peer pressure really helps. So yeah, I guess the answer to this question is yeah, I do usually train them individually and I only do double sort of training sessions later on if they actually know the task that they're doing. 
So the next question is, can you do more holiday collaborations? And I think this is referring to my January collab of the 12 days of Ratmus. And yeah, I plan on doing more of these. Actually, I'm planning on doing a rat collab of sorts that's coming up. It's going to be on agility. So if anyone would like to participate in that, maybe start training your rats some agility tricks. I have a lot of videos on that if you'd like some help. And then later I thought we could just put together a nice video of them doing the agility courses. So the next question is asking about me and my plans for the future. So it's asking where did my love of animals come from and what does my family think of it? Do I plan on working with animals or becoming a trainer later in life? So my love of animals probably comes from my mom's side. I mean, she's very much an animal lover, as I was saying. Like, when she was younger, she had a lot of dogs, cats, and they were mostly strays. So she really came from a household where she had a lot of animals. Now, like I was saying, my dad's a little less inclined to animals, so currently we only have rats, and I'm not allowed to get any larger pets. But that's basically, I mean, I guess where my love of animals comes from is the fact that my mom likes them and also we have a lot of animals in this neighborhood and when I was younger I would actually bike around the neighborhood and then I would say hi to all the cats and dogs and I had a super good rapport with all of them. Like I would have cats follow me around in the woods behind my house. It sounds weird but we have a woods there and neighbors cats would just walk around with me and I even had cats come and sleep on my doorstep. I never fed them or anything so these were all neighbors cats and it was just I had a lot of fun playing around with them. There weren't any children in my neighborhood back then so it was like okay I'm just gonna play with the cats and dogs so yeah I think that's where my love of animals really started as for what my family thinks about it they're pretty supportive of my love of like training with the rats they think it's pretty impressive and they're always showing it off to friends and family which is kind of embarrassing but I, I don't mind I mean it's really nice to see rats getting some good publicity out there and it's just I guess a it's nice that they don't mind that I'm doing it. As for what I exactly am going to do later in life, I was kind of talking about that, but I'm not sure. I am talking to some behavioral researchers in my university. I'm actually going to be doing a project with one of them on training dogs, so we're going to see where that takes me. Maybe I'll go into some sort of animal science or working with the behavioral side of animals, maybe not. I'm not exactly sure yet. I'm kind of undecided, so we'll see where that takes me. So then I have a question here that asks, how did I teach my rats not to pee and poop on the floor? Now, actually, I didn't train any of my rats not to do this. However, one of the things that happened by accident, and it's really cool, is that I have a travel cage that I keep in my rat's playpen, and I don't change the bedding in there too often. So one day, my rats just started going in there. So most of the time, that's where I'll find all the poop and pee. Once in a while, they'll miss with their poop and they'll like put it in a little corner in some other box. They always like to poop in boxes, it's weird. Same with pee. But yeah, that's just where they'll go all the time. So if I have any tips, I guess, on this, I would say probably leave out something that's a little soiled in a box or in a travel carrier like mine and your rats are probably going to end up going there because they like to go where it already smells like they've gone. However, in the case of marking, you can't stop that. That's a totally natural behavior. Uh, by the way, if you don't know what it is, marking is when the rats walk around and they leave little drops of urine behind just to add their scent to the area. You can't stop this and it's such a small amount that it doesn't bother me. Uh, I steam clean my carpets once a year at most and I've never had any sort of carpet smell issues or staining, so I wouldn't worry about that, especially if you only have a few rats like I do. So that's pretty much all the questions I have for you. Thank you everyone who submitted a question. I had a lot of fun answering these. Uh, if anyone else would like to ask me some questions for my next Q&A, and I probably will do another one at some point, then you can just leave them in the video comment section below. Thanks for watching, and if you would like more tips on rat care and rat trick training, you can visit my website at rattricks.weebly.com, link in the description, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you later. Bye.